Hey guys, welcome back. Spring is really coming. So does the mango season in my region. We always buy this big box of mango this time of the year to enjoy it. However, mango gets ripe very fast. So it's time to make them into mango sorbet. Come on, check it out. First, cut mango into small pieces. The best way to get the mango of the pit is eat it. You can peel the skin then chop it into small pieces, or just scrape it out with a spoon after sliced into small cubes. This kind of a mango has a very flat, small pit with very smooth and sweet meat. It's super good for a mango sorbet. Then put the chopped mango into a zip bag. Next, freeze it overnight. The next day, let's make some syrup first. Add in water and sugar into a small pot. Slowly stir it to dissolve the sugar. Boil it with medium heat until it passes the test. Use a chopstick. Drag the chopstick through the syrup on the spatula. If you see a clear boundary and it can stay that way, it's done. Remove it from the heat. Go back to the frozen mango. My bag is a little bit small. Now it's a big chunk. Break it into small pieces. Then blend the frozen mango into smoothie. My blender is not very good and super small, so I have to process half first. Another ingredient we need is lemon. Add lemon juice now can help it to blend. Add in the syrup. I added half here. You can also use some hard thing like a rolling pin to push it down a little bit. Then blend. Food processor can do a better job if you have one. Blend until it gets smooth. Then transfer it into a bowl. Process the other half same way. This is what I got from Six Mango. It's already super smooth now. Try it and see if you need more sugar or lemon. Hmm, needs more lemon. Lemon is a very important ingredient since it introduces very nice citrus flavor. The amount of added sugar depends on the sweetness of the mango you use and personal preference. Here I added half cup sugar in six mangoes, about three pounds. Then I like to use a mixer to mix everything and break some remaining bigger pieces. Also, you can see the mixer can pick up some fiber in mango. This kind of fiber is very hard and it tastes like string. So we want to pick up as much as possible. Cover and freeze it again. Well, I lied again. The first step to make mango sorbet is not processing mango. It's making sure you have enough space in your freezer. <laughs> Couple hours later, take it out and use a mixer to blend it again to prevent big ice crystal. Repeat this process for a couple times. I used this method to make peach ice cream before. This is how you make ice cream without ice cream maker. You can click the link above if you are interested. You can tell it's getting harder and harder. Repeat this process for three times should be fine. Another way to make mango sorbet is blend the fresh mango first, then freeze it. Fresh mango is easier to blend. However, you need to repeat this mixing process more times since it starts with liquid. Then transfer it into some containers with lid.
I saved this mango sorbet container. Now I can trick my husband with this. <laughs> Actually, I think mine tastes better. Then freeze them and eat whenever you want. Come on, check the final product. Look how smooth it is. There's a small trick while you serve the sorbet. The trick is thaw it a little bit before serving and use a wet spoon to scrape the sorbet. Looking good! I made these mango roses. It's very easy to transfer them with a toothpick. Garnish with some green too. It's ready to serve. Let's try it. It's super smooth. It just melts in your mouth immediately with a boost of mango flavor. The little bit sourness from lemon balanced to the sweetness very well. You can even enjoy the sweetness more after a little bit citrus taste. Feel like you are surrounded by fresh mango and cool spring. It tastes so good. It's fat free and pretty easy to make. You should try it. This is today's video. Please hit the subscribe and the like button if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.